Hi guys, my name is Natasha, I live in Russia in the city of Khabarovsk and welcome to my new video. Recently my friend told me that in our city there is a hill that looks like the famous Grand Canyon in the United States. We decided to go there and see that place. So in this video I will be showing you our Russian version of the Grand Canyon and also I will be discussing the concept of hiking in Russia. So let's go! Beginning of our route, let's go. No, we can't go there. No, we can't go So now we're approaching uh, this big mountain. It's called Arekova Sopka. And this means the Nut Hill. Previously, it was an unremarkable hill overgrown with an oak forest, but it consisted of clay shale, a very valuable material in construction. In Soviet times, people began to mine it, and that's why today it's a little lower and there is a quarry near the hill. Now we are on the height and from here you can see this valley that is spreading under that hill. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is our Russian Grand Canyon. But of course it's a very low-key version of it. Last year when I was studying in the United States I saw the real ones, including the Grand Canyon, the Horseshoe, Zion National Park, etc. Actually I have seen more nature in the United States than in Russia. I probably mentioned my study in America in my ever video, but this is because that exchange here left a lasting impression on me and it helped me to look at Russia from the foreigner's perspective. That's why in this video I will be mostly comparing Russian and American hiking. But of course this idea of going to the mountains exists in other countries too. So what is hiking? I learned about this for the first time when I was living with my host family in Wisconsin and there we hiked on the Devil's Lake and I even saw that famous place called the Devil's Doorway. Hiking was a new concept for me and I couldn't understand it because in Russia we almost don't have it. It seemed to me that hiking just means going around the hills, looking at beautiful views and enjoying each other's company and that's it. I didn't understand it because, because for me, if you are going to the hill, there always must be something else, for example, a picnic. In Russian we don't even have an equivalent for hiking, so we have to transliterate this word into Russian hiking. Also, there is another word, tracking, which is similar in idea. But it's interesting that in Russian version of Wikipedia about hiking, it's called Pieshe Tourism, which is literally pedestrian tourism. So I still don't get it. But it would be wrong to say that hiking doesn't exist in Russia at all. Because once I made a post on my Instagram where I discussed this topic, and a couple of my friends left their comment and shared their experience. So one girl from the city of Talyati said that she often goes hiking with her friends, but they call this to go for for a walk in the mountains. Another friend said that in Krasnoyarsk there's a very popular hike into Stalby Nature Sanctuary, where you walk 12 kilometers uphill and where you can climb huge boulders. Although people call it a little differently there, the essence is still the same. And of course, people in such a large and picturesque country as Russia have a lot of opportunities to go hiking. The only difference from other countries is that here we mostly do it spontaneously and we don't have a special name for it. The reason why hiking is not that well known in Russia is because here we have many different kinds of active leisure that can be all united by the hypernymic term поехать на природу, which literally means to go to the nature. And the list of activities denoted by this term is the following. Going to the nature can be camping if you go to the forest for several days, put up tents and prepare food over a fire. It can be hiking if you also explore the area and climb over the hills. There is even a truly Russian thing called Jari Chishliki to roast kebabs. Going to the nature can also include swimming, fishing or even gathering mushrooms. When I was a kid, for me, this concept of going to the nature always meant riding bikes with my friends around our hometown, exploring nearby lakes and hills, 
and it was a pretty adventurous time. Sometimes we would go with my parents and grandparents to fishing, and I always enjoyed that. So generally, Russian поехать на природу means gathering with your family or friends somewhere outdoors. So this is the end of my video. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button, write your comments, and subscribe to my channel. Do you have hiking in your country? It will be really interesting for me to read your comments. As usual, thanks to my Patreon for helping me to produce this video. Thanks for watching and goodbye! Всем пока!